welcome to my YouTube channel. Ba -ba 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 Boom. As you can hear in the background, probably, I don't know if my mic is that great, I am listening to Bob Marley. I love Bob Marley. And why am I listening to that? Well, I'll tell you why. Because today's topic. If you've already looked above, you already know, you've already been searching, and you found me. If you have not checked my links to my social media, right there, right there, check them, click them, see what's up. You can send me a question anonymously if you want to on my website. It is perfectly fine, and I will give you the answer that you're seeking. You and me are practicing everything that we preach. We are no longer going by the phrase, do as I say, not as I do. Ain't gonna happen round ya. We're going to practice what we preach. We're going to do the things that we say. We're going to walk the talk. That's what this whole process is about, my friends. It is the grueling process of facing your own demons and saying, shit, really? I gotta do that? It's easy to help people see the big picture. It's easy to help people change their life. It's changing your own life that really is the tough part. And that's what all this is about. Changing the life that you are right now. Changing me, changing myself is a process that you can learn from because you need to be doing the same damn thing. Okay? Today's topic, as you know, men love your women. Men love your women. She's standing there. She looks great. She's feeling fabulous. And you look at her and you go, uh, she's not waiting for that. She's not. I gave dating advice to thousands of people. I had to redo their profiles for them first and foremost. Guys, if you're standing next to a Ferrari in your picture on your profile, whatever site you're using to find the lady, don't. Eh. Girls, if you are trying to find a guy and you're trying to be classy, show him your ass after the first date. These are the five expectations that are super unrealistic that men have on women. Number one is dating. It's number one, right? A woman's not going to stop dating other guys until you make that shit official. As a man, you don't want to lock it down because you want to keep your options open. You want to keep doing your thing. But I have to tell you, as long as you keep the options open, she's going to continue looking for the one because she wants the guy that's going to fight for her. She wants the guy that's going to say, you know what? I don't want anybody else but you. I'd like for us to be serious. I would like for you and me to be in something exclusive. What do you think? So when you say those words, she's either gonna run because she's not into you, or she's going to say, sweet God, I've been waiting for you. I'm in studio, where does a bug come from? Okay, bye bug. Okay, so number two thing, and this is a huge one, huge. This would be like for you as a guy, if you say you're never gonna check out a girl's butt again, even if you're in a relationship. And we're all cordial, we're all really nice. We all try to do the right thing. But there are a lot of people that are tempted that you see somebody walk by and just because you look, you heard the flip phrase, you can look but you don't touch. So, number two thing, the most unrealistic expectation a man will have for a woman is that she's not gonna have any male friends. Why? Why would you want her to, I guess, because I've never had that problem. If you don't want your girl to have male friends, it means that you are insecure and you feel that you're not good enough and she's gonna find somebody else because she's still looking. Number one, because you haven't locked that shit down, right? Number one reason, you gotta lock that down. You gotta tell her your interest level. You have to tell her you actually like her and you wanna be exclusive or she's gonna keep continuing to look. And then number two is gonna wallop onto that one and say, hey, I don't want you having all these guy friends. But if you haven't locked it down, you haven't made it affirmative, you don't have any boundaries or expectations set up, right? So, and even when you do, she's gonna have male friends and you just have to get used to that. She's gonna have male friends at work. It's not, I mean, that's unrealistic. Number three, most unrealistic expectation. <laughs> you can think that you're dating casually, like booty calls. You can think a booty call is casual, but for girls, she's gonna develop an emotion. Cause like in my video previously that I talked about, hugging releases oxytocin. Well, what do you think? Hugging, holding hands, sitting comfy on a couch, watching Netflix or sex, that releases a lot of oxytocin. <laughs> and that good fun filled feeling that you get after you are like, oh, I feel like I could take on the world uh, and I make a sandwich. That, while you're making a mental sandwich, she's in love with you. She might not show it, she may not know it, but it is a physical chemical reaction to that bond that you're developing. So casual dating is not going to be emotion free. 
Casual dating is going to always, always have emotional involvement for the woman. Some men are just cold as ice. Some women are, can be cold as ice too, but these are for healthy-minded people looking to be in a healthy relationship. I'm not talking about specifics for people that are not. The number four unrealistic goal that you have as a man on your female interest, she's not a mind reader. She's not gonna know that you are running late in traffic unless you let her know. She's not going to know that you don't like pasta. She's not going to know that, she's not gonna know anything. What, she's, it's not like she's one of the freaking uh, Avengers and she can mind read. She's not Professor Xavier's daughter and she's like, oh well, let me see, oh uh, yeah. So Ryan really does not like pasta and he dislikes the color brown. Women are not mind readers, men are not mind readers. So communication is going to be your first and foremost thing to go to. You want to communicate. And that the number five unrealistic expectation that kind of follows in with that suit is the whole push and pull thing. Push and pull, what does that mean? What does the push and pull mean? Come on, tell me. Do you know? It's not a mystery to me. That's because I read <laughs> what the expert said. I've got the end. Okay, so the number five unrealistic expectation is called push and pull. It means that she can't read your mind like number four. You know what? You never call me and then get mad when she does. Or get mad when she's made you dinner and you come home and it's cold and you're like, what? It is unrealistic for you to believe that you can put a demand on this beautiful woman that you're interested in to say, yeah, I hate it when you call me. And then she never calls you and you feel like, well, she doesn't love me. She doesn't call me. She doesn't show me. She loves me. Of course, you just told her. Because like number four, she's not a mind reader. So those are the top five unrealistic expectations that we as men are putting on our wonderful women. So get your shit together, people. Let's find that level of communication where we can all feel like we're on the same page and we can push forward and then we can build that passion pillar. Boom! Love, light, and happiness. Namaste, my friends. Mwah. Get together. Hug it out. Believe in yourself. Keep your communication. Establish boundaries. And check out my videos below. Don't forget to click on my social media here. Subscribe so you can stay up to date. Hi, and I'm Ryan Keyes. Welcome to my letting go adventure. As you can see in the banner above, my name and my photos, I go all over the world and I have adventures. And this is one of my adventures right now that I'm having. I'm at the PCH, Pacific Coast Trail, and I am way off course from where I'm supposed to be or where I'm allowed to be. These behind me are elephant seals. They are enjoying the sun as I am. 